Well, a powerful image from the Atala warehouse fire we've been covering for you for more than 24 hours now. Look at this. Uh, these firefighters just exhausted. This is from the Springville Fire Department's Facebook page. Those firefighters just laid out on the grass. They've been fighting those flames for hours on end. These are just some of the 150 plus firefighters that were working that fire. Now, as you can imagine, they are all exhausted from working such long hours. Yeah, firefighting is not easy in perfect weather, but imagine doing it in this extreme heat we're all going through. John Huddleton is live at five talking to firefighters about how they try and deal with these conditions, John. Yeah, Jonathan, this is something that they take very seriously. I can tell you that they know they have a job to do, but in these extreme temperatures doing it, well, it takes a lot of strength and will. If this picture didn't say it all, the caption certainly does. It's 2 a.m. and we finally get to take a break. That's what Springville firefighters posted on Facebook after spending hours helping to fight that huge warehouse fire in Atala. The reaction is understandable especially when you consider the record-breaking temperatures outside. Yes, we've had quite a few firemen that's had to be rehabbed, IV fluids, um, get in a cool area, drink plenty of fluids this time, but um, so far we're doing okay. We're changing personnel in and out. Fire departments across the WBRC viewing area employ those same tactics when it's this hot. Birmingham Battalion Chief Sebastian Carrillo. Whenever it's hot and it's, it's extremely hot and dry outside, we reduce the amount of time that our firefighters do vis vigorous work before we send them into a rehab unit where we check their vitals, cool them down. Carrillo says it's a double-edged sword. Firefighters have to continue to wear that heavy gear, but... It protects us from the heat in the home, but it also keeps our internal heat bottled up inside of that uniform. Carrillo adds how long any one person fights a fire is left up to the incident commander on the scene. There are always rescue units standing by for any victims, but also the crews. And if in fact we do get on scene and we have victims that we have to attend to, we automatically call for an additional rescue unit to attend to the firefighters. Carrillo also adds that one thing they it's really stress their crews is to hydrate regularly. That includes in the hours and days leading up to the start of their shift. Well, Ivan Hoover, John Huddleston, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.